What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Critical Overload here. Shouldn't talk about Halloween ends in this video here again today. Shout out to Phantom Empire for disclosing this information in a recent video that they put up on their channel. I'll leave a link to it in the description. And you know, for those of you who watch Phantom Empire, you know that Phantom Empire gets these details disclosed to them about uh, the films regarding Halloween Kills and now of course Halloween ends from their trusted sources who I guess haven't steered them wrong so far and they continue to get relayed information from those people that are their sources so then they come on and they make these videos disclosing the information with you guys so this is going to be about the state of Haddonfield so like what the town of Haddonfield apparently is going to be like going into Halloween ends as far as like the fallout from the events of Halloween 2018 and Halloween kills since it's again important to remember that those both take place on the same night so you have to consider that Haddonfield has been through that and they've been through something 44 years ago now with the events of 90, 90 uh, 1978 and then I guess the fallout, if you want to factor this in, of the 63 events when uh, young Michael Myers killed his sister Judith and how that impacted the town and, you know, just messed up that small community. So going into what they had stopped, what they had talked about, I just made a couple of notes about it. So the state of Haddonfield in Halloween ends, apparently, is going to have a lot to do with division. So some people apparently have moved out while some have stayed. And I guess what they are doing is not believing the rumors of Michael or what happened in the town four years ago. That's what I gathered and there's like a, I would say a collective gaslight attempt to like not let themselves believe what they were there present to see while also I guess also negatively impacting those who are moving into town since you have people who stayed and are just like in denial about what happened and then like apparently also the big John little John stuff in this movie is going to be toned down so like the comedic aspects that you had in halloween kills and with uh halloween 2018 i would say more so with halloween kills that stuff and that big john little john stuff stuff like that stuff like with julian that's apparently toned down very much so in the sense that i guess this is going to be the least comedic of the three so you will be getting a darker tone than the last time i hope so what i hope we get to see of course is a, a very much so character driven film that isn't held back by these breaking moments for humor that either just is overdone or it's just out of place so hopefully we don't get anything like that in halloween ends and i guess according to the fandom empire source it doesn't sound like we have to worry about that too much if we do get some humor it's probably gonna be very minimal again probably might be the lowest you've had in any of these trilogy any of these films that you got recently from david gordon green so this one in this trilogy might be the most serious take for the michael myers of david gordon green timeline and then the other thing I guess he talked about was different characters that are having their own side quests that ultimately culminate into one arcing story that represent the title of the movie being, of course, Halloween Ends. So this would have to do, I guess, with the new characters and how they're all going to be having their own things they're dealing with. I would imagine that some of these people that you can factor into that will, of course, be Lori Strode, Allison, Lindsay Wallace, and how Halloween Kills in 2018 impacted them. And then throw in all these new characters we're expecting to have involved that might be people tied with Allison and a few other people maybe tied with Lori or just other people who were present for the events of 2018 and kills but we didn't actually get to see them on screen and maybe these people that have moved into town and how they've all been shaped by the gaslighting going on for some people and just some other things going on in the town because again they, apparently they've also had to come out and dealt with the pandemic that's going to be something that's factored into the film apparently we know we've had comments about this in the past but I guess it's going to be very minimal in the sense that expecting them to be on lockdown probably shouldn't be one of your concerns but just expect a town that's very divided on the events of what took place in 2018 you're gonna have people who have obviously left town you're gonna have people who are in denial again i'm gonna be calling it collectively gaslighting themselves into thinking that what happened all those years ago actually didn't happen to create this mentally perfect world in their mind of what Haddonfield once was even though it's not like that anymore and then of course on top of that coming out of that two years later you had to deal with a worldwide uh issue and hopefully, again, there's nothing that is overly dramatic with that in this movie. And hopefully, I've seen people joke about this. Hopefully, that has nothing at all whatsoever to do with how this man dies. If Michael Myers dies because of this worldwide crisis, I am not going to be coming on here and defending any aspect of that movie. That is an instant killer for the movie as a whole. I don't care what else went on in the movie. If you do that, you're done. <laughs> if you do that, you're done. You're dead. So... 
as far as anything else fandom empire went over he did state that they would have another video to talk about these new characters and i guess how they're going to be factored into the narrative so we'll see how that plays out when they talk about what other stuff i guess came from their sources but all in all this is what i would expect hadfield to be like you know given the events of what happened in 2018 and in halloween kills you're going to have people who of course are going to be on on edge you're going to have some people who might have moved on a little bit easier than others you're going to have people who of course did not stick around in town what they did was they left town and they decided to you know haul ass and go find find a residency somewhere else and i am curious about the baxters i'm curious if the baxters will be one of the people that move in the town and then something happens that leads to their daughter going missing maybe that has to do with how michael myers and the impact he's had on the town for the past four years or something else related to the mythos of michael myers you know some people are not believing it other people believing it and if the baxters have moved into town did something happen where their daughter ended up going missing because of a tobacco either with michael himself uh because again we don't know where he's been at for the past 40 years not 40 four years in between the last two movies and now so maybe she did maybe the one of the baxter kids did something and megan baxter of course ended up going missing but we'll see how it plays out when the movie comes to theaters later this october those are some good details to find out as it pertains to where the town of Haddonfield will be going into this trilogy conclusion. But I know there are still some people who are on the fence about this movie as a whole because of the fact that Halloween Kills to a lot of people was a major step down from what you had in Halloween 2018. Again, I will say this to no end. Halloween Kills has a lot of strong elements to it that are definitely not present in Halloween 2018. But overall, as a movie standpoint and from which one is better on a technical level and all those boxes being checked off, I would have to give that to Halloween 2018. Uh, while the flashback stuff in Kills is definitely some of the best we've ever seen in the franchise, again, that's one of the strengths and things I will always defend about that movie. There are other, there's certain other elements like how they use the legacy cast essentially just to, you know, be just there for cheap nostalgia. There was really no use of them. I would say they used them worse than in Scream 5. So let me know what you guys think about these new details down in the comment section below about the town of Haddonfield and where they're going to be at. If you haven't already, of course, make sure you subscribe, turn on post notifications, and name is the video in the description. I have links to my social media accounts, my Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. You can message me there of course let me know any movies reviews or reviews you would like me to cover in the future and with all that in mind guys i will see you in the next video